Another way to import data into Excel is through the Power Pivot feature. Now this is a more robust way to manage external data through the Power Pivot, as you can filter data and rename columns and tables. But in short, the data that we add to the workbook is stored internally as an embedded Power Pivot database inside the .xlsx file. And that's the extension that I gave you. And if you want to learn more about extensions, you can watch my Windows training video on extensions. But to put it in other words, typically those who use this feature have their data linked to another data source that updates it in Excel through Power Pivot. But to keep it simple, I'm going to go ahead and take the data that we exported in an earlier training video to this text file. Let me double click to open it up. And I cleaned it up so I just have the row headers instead of the company name above it and the name of the database payroll. And so you can see the row headers for each column separated by a tab, tab delimited. So there's the list column, first name, last name, and so on. Let's go ahead and close out of it and open up Excel. And to use the Power Pivot feature, you want to come up here, if, if it's not on the ribbon, the tab that is, Power Pivot, then right click anywhere on the ribbon and go down to Customize the Ribbon. And then go ahead and scroll down on the right hand side and check Power Pivot. Click Okie Dokie. And there it is. Click on Power Pivot. Go to the Data Model group and click on Manage. And then we want to go ahead and get our external data within this window by clicking on Get External Data. And you can do it from a database from data service, from other sources, or existing connections. How about if we go ahead and do it from other sources, and you can see those other sources. Oh boy, there's quite a bit. Oracle, Teradata, Sybase, if I pronounced it right. Let's go ahead and scroll down to the bottom. And there's our text file. And yeah, let's keep it simple. Go ahead and select it, click on Next. And let's go ahead and click Browse to find it. And there it is, Power Pivot. Double click. Okay, it's cramming everything into one column. Why? Because by default it wants to use comma. Now these fields aren't separated by a comma, it's the tab, the tab delimiter. So go ahead and select tab, give it a second, and oh, that's much nicer. Now first, do you want to use the first row as column headers? The first row is my header row. And now you can go ahead and uncheck those columns that you don't want to import if you don't want to import their first name. Leave it unchecked. Let's go ahead and check it. If you want to sort it ascendingly, well, if you can't see the column, you can go ahead and hover in between the two column headers and click and drag over to the right and over to the right. There you go. You can click on the corresponding drop down arrow and you can, well, sort ascending, descending. You can also filter, uncheck all, and say you just want Ann, Bill, Bob, Brad. Go ahead and click okie dokie. Updates it, and those are the only people that we're pulling in. You can see the little filter icon, the funnel for that column, saying that. Well, out of all of them that you can see, that's the only one that has a little funnel to it. So it's being filtered by that field there. And if that looks good to you, go ahead and click Finish. It imports four rows successfully. Cool. Go ahead and close out. And there they are. So you can go ahead and use the features up here to manage your database. There's the Home tab, the design for what little features that you do have in Power Pivot, and then Advanced. And then when you're done, you can go ahead and close out. Go ahead and click on drop down arrow to close and it goes back to the front stage and so keep this in mind that when you open this file up you won't see anything here because it's embedded in the power pivot view and so if you're on the home tab and you're like where's my data what the fudge remember go to your power pivot go to the data model click on manage because that's where you're going to be working with it and if it's connected to an external data source data source then you can go ahead and click refresh and then close out and in fact, I could go ahead and go to my text file on my desktop, add or delete some of the fields there. And when I click refresh, because it's linked to it, it'll go ahead and update it here. But I'm talking like if you're linked over the internet to another company's database, well, you want to go ahead and refresh that so you can get the latest and then go ahead and work on it. And then file or the file tab back to close to the front stage. Be sure to save your work. And then one final note is that you don't get as many options as I showed you to work with your data when you're using the Power Pivot feature. Again, this is something that you're working with externally that's going to be embedded internally here as it's being updated externally. So keep that in mind if it's something you're not working with externally, then you want to probably go with the previous training video and just import the data one time. If it's a text file and being able to work with it with all the Excel features, not the limited embedded Power Pivot. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, 
please see the description below this video.